Hello there, I'm Steven and iOS 7 just got released and it comes with major new features, everybody's happy about it, but one of the bad features about it is that it drains your battery. So if you're one of those people, um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you 7 major tips that will help you um, with your battery life. So, here it is. So the number one big battery drainer is your brightness. The brightness is what um, uses most of your battery, so um, if I were you, I would go to settings wallpapers and brightness and this is where you can control your bright your brightness you would try to lower around this area right here which is the best um i would also leave auto brightness on because it will adjust your screen um depending on the light available around you so if you're in a dark area it will increase it if you're in a light area on the outside when there's a lot of sun it will decrease it so that's the best way to keep it to re um, lose less battery so tip number two uh, many people always leave their houses and don't realize that they always leave their Wi-Fi option on. Um, Wi-Fi, even though you're not using Wi-Fi, uses a lot of battery. So every time you try to leave your house or work or school, I would always go to the control panel right here and turn off your Wi-Fi every time it's out in use. Um, this will save a lot of battery and it would loss, cause your battery to last the whole day. Tip number three. Um, even though most people don't even use Bluetooth, um, even though people leave it on, um, it still uses battery. So I would also turn off Bluetooth if you're not using it. Um, you could use it while you're in your car or uh, to stream audio, phone calls, but while you're not using it, you could turn it off. Um, it'll save battery, even though it won't be that much, it's something. So one of the new features from iOS 7 is called Background App Refresh. Even though this could improve multitasking, it could also be a big battery drainer. Even though Apple says that it won't drain your battery, um, it will still use the apps in the background. So if you want to save battery, you would go to settings, go to general, and scroll down to background app refresh. Um, here you can see all the apps that are using background app refresh. If you want, you can turn them off um, separately so you can only use it on some of them if you want. But if you want to optimize your battery, um, I would turn it off completely. Disable background app refresh, and that would help um, save battery immensely. Tip number five. Um, this is also a new feature of iOS 7. A lot of people enjoy this, and it's the parallax effect that is on iOS 7 and the wallpaper. Um, many people don't want to use it, and it also bothers their eyes, but this also reduces battery. So it's better if you go to settings, general, accessibility, and scroll down to reduce motion. If you turn on reduce motion, it will disable the parallax effect for iOS 7 in the lock screen and the home screen. Tip number six. Another awesome new feature that Apple added to iOS 7 is automatic app updating. This feature is awesome because it allows you to update your apps automatically without having to go to the app store manually. So I do love this feature, but um, it also reduces battery life. So if you go to settings, then go to iTunes and App Store, scroll down where it says automatic downloads. As you can see, I have music, apps, and also updates. Um, for optimal battery life, I would turn off everyone here, music, apps, and updates, so that um, you can save battery life. Tip number seven. Apple also introduced a new feature called AirDrop. AirDrop allows you to send files to contacts near, nearby um, using Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Um, this could be a convenience um, space where you can send pictures, you can send um, other things by Bluetooth, but this could also reduce battery life, especially if you keep it on all the time, which most people do. Um, so I would open the control panel, go down where it says AirDrop, click on it, and then tap off. This will disable AirDrop um, and make sure that you also disable your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi as it turns it on automatically when you turn on the AirDrop. Tip number eight. Another big battery drainer is location services. Even though location services is a great system to use when you're using with Maps, um, Google Maps, Waze, Instagram, it could also drain your battery a lot. Um, so if you go to settings, privacy, location services. Here you can see all the apps using your location services. 
Um, you can scroll down and I would recommend turning off location services to apps that you do not use location services for. For example, Craigslist or CNN do not really require your location, so there's no need for that app to have your location at all. Um, you can also keep scrolling to see which apps you have that you do not want to use a location. You can turn off any one that you choose so you can save battery. To save optimal battery, I would recommend turning off location services completely. Turn off, and this will save the most battery. Push notifications also use a lot of battery life. Even though they can be really convenient when using Instagram and Facebook, this wakes up the phone requiring it to turn on and use battery life. If you want to save battery life, um, I will go to settings, notification center, scroll down to the apps, and see any apps that you use that do not require push notifications. For example, if you use Netflix, um, they don't require that much notifications. So I would go to none, show notification center, turn it off, and also show on lock screen. This will disable completely the notifications for this app. If you scroll down and you see any other app that you know that you don't use notifications, for example, um, Shazam, you could also turn the notifications off for this app. None, badge app icon, sounds, show notification center, and also show on lock screen. You can keep scrolling down and do the same thing for any other apps that you do not require and don't use. This would also help save a lot of battery. Last but not least, tip number 10. Um, if you have an email account on your iPhone or calendar synced to your email account, this could also be wasting battery life. If you go to Mail, Contacts, and Calendars, Fetch New Data, it's recommended that you turn off Push. Push um, means that it will always be connected to the server and would always download any other data available instantly. To save battery life, I would recommend turning off push and start setting a fetch interval, which could be either every 15 minutes, every 30 minutes, hourly, or manually. If you're not expecting any important mail, I would always set it to hourly, which uses a less battery. Even more, if you want to save even more battery, I will set it to manually, which requires only the data to be synced when you open the mail application. These have been the 10 most successful tips to save battery life on a device using iOS 7. Even though you have to sacrifice a little to save battery life, it is recommended so that your device can last the whole day. Apple should be releasing any updates soon to help increase battery life on devices using iOS 7. But as of now, these are the best ways to save battery life. Thank you for watching this video and I hope I helped you a lot. Thanks.